Hey everybody, it's Miss Billingsley. I wanted to kind of make a short video on some expectations for your Unit 6 project. So hopefully by now you have read through the entry doc and maybe even done some ARPing and maybe you have contributed to um, the Nose Need to Nose document from a few days ago. Uh, but if not, I have shared this with you in Echo um, and this is my ARPed version, um, just kind of running through the requirements. Um, really quickly, let's see if I can highlight a couple things. Um, one thing I want to highlight is the requirement. So basically in this paragraph, we're outlining uh, what, what you're going to be doing in this project. So you're going to be creating a proposal to the city planner, um, proposing where a new resource should go. And that resource can be anything that you want it to be from a school to a library to a coffee shop, maybe an ice cream shop maybe uh, a new car dealership, whatever you want it to be, you do that, whatever you think is missing. Um, basically, it goes on to say that we're going to be looking at a map, and that's what I'm going to kind of show you today how to do, looking at a Google map and, uh, you know, finding those relevant resources, things that relate to your resource um, and their location in relation to where yours is going to be. Um, and we're going to find the distances from them and all that good stuff using our our geometry. So um, this next piece says what all our proposal should include. So one is a Google Maps coordinate grid um, with eight relevant resource locations. Um, then we're going to use Desmos and determine the coordinate location of our new resource. So after we find a good chunk of land, decide where that is. Um, include some mathematical data on how we did our calculations and then present all of those things in a nice uh, written proposal. So today I just want to show you um, how to access these things in Google Maps. You may have never messed around with Google Maps before, but um, so, so what I've done is go ahead and open that Google Maps link. Okay, so once we're in here, we're going to maybe find a, the first resource that we want to use. So uh, my example is going to be that I want to create a new high school in our uh, community and Rogers. So what I'm going to first look up is our school. So I'm going to type over here in the search bar, Rogers New Technology High School. Hey, there it is. All right. So that pops up on the screen for me. Um, in order to save that, like so that little red uh, pinpoint stays, I'm going to actually click save over here and I'm going to maybe I'm going to start it. OK, so I've added that to my saved. And now I want to think of a couple things that could be important in relation to that. And because I want to make a new high school, I should probably include all the other high schools. So I'm also going to search here for Heritage High School. Whoops, I spelled that wrong. Okay, and it has shown up here for me. So I'm going to save that as well so that it shows when I zoom out. Did it say? Who knows? Okay, and I'm also going to look for Rogers High School. All right, and I have saved that into my start as well. Okay, so the reason I want to star those is so when I zoom out, they stay on my map. So look there, we can see New Tech. Okay, I don't think Heritage stayed. Let's go back and try that one again. Oh, goodness, I cannot type tonight. Heritage High School says that it's saved. Okay. Awesome. Let's try that again then. Okay, there they all are. So that's a little intense. So I'm going to kind of zoom out. So now we can see all three of my star locations here. Um, and then I might think of a couple other things that might be important in, tr in relation to it. And we want at least eight of these to show up on our map. Um, so I'm going to say the Rogers Public Library. It might be important for uh, that to be within within reach. So I'm going to start that one as well. And then whatever other things you think are important in relation to your particular resource, if it's a grocery store, maybe the grocery stores that are also nearby or uh, yeah, whatever it is, you, you add those eight things to your list. Okay, let me see if I can think of one more. Maybe, uh, oh goodness. 
that's all I can think of for right now. So I'm just going to use those couple and just kind of use that as an example for you all. Okay, so you can see my four stars on here. You should have eight once you think of those eight, at least eight if you think of 10 or 20, you know, go right ahead. There's some that just pop up like the Walmart and the Frisco Station Mall up here. Um, but those are the four that I'm really going to look at. So um, notice that over here on this side of Rogers, kind of by the interstate, uh, 49, and on the other side as well, there are no uh, high schools at least on this side of town. So what I might do is propose putting a high school on the other side of the interstate. So I'm going to kind of search around over here and see what I can find. So I'm looking, it looks like this is Village on the Creeks area. So we're looking kind of like Pinnacle. There's Mercy Hospital over here. Um, and I see this big, nice chunk of land. I do see that there's kind of a building in the middle of it. Not sure what that building is, but sometimes uh, you can buy land from people. So maybe this is just someone's shop or maybe it's just someone's garage. Uh, it doesn't really look like a business since it's not showing up. So I might propose that right here, um, I will add my new school. So what I'm gonna do is click on this, check that out. We get those locations there and I'm gonna see if I can uh, add that as a star. Let's see here. Add a place to do, do. Yeah, what's here? Will it tell me? Nope. Okay, let's just zoom out and see if that'll stay put. Nope, darn. Come on. Okay, what I'm gonna do is zoom out to where I get everything I want and then click on it. That way it stays for when I take my screenshot. Okay, so now that I have that pin stuck there, um, I want to get my screen ready for a screenshot. So we can click this little button here that says collapse side panel so that we can get a full view of it. Notice my pen is still here underneath that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just take a screenshot. So um, I'm gonna do shift command four and just select the region that I want. Okay, and what I want is all of this. I wanna make sure new text in there over on the right and I wanna make sure that Rogers High is in there. Um, and I'll just make it as big as I possibly can without running into that junk at the bottom. Okay, so now I have that screenshot. So what we're going to do next is actually hop on over to Desmos. So we're going to Desmos, click that start graphing button, uh, and then we're going to click this button here that has a plus sign because we can add lots of things when we do that. And one of the things that we can add is an image. Okay, and I'm going to pull this screenshot into Desmos. Takes a little second. Awesome, there it is. Okay, so notice that mine is kind of small. We can change all these things about it. We can change the width and the height. Um, we can just click on this and then click and drag, make it bigger, bigger, bigger. We can even uh, change where the center is if we want to, um, whatever you would like. If I wanna zoom out a lot and make it real big, that is totally fine too. That way we can zoom in on all of these things. Okay, totally up to you at this point where and how big you make your, your image. So now that that's stuck on there, my next task is going to be to go ahead and get some coordinate points on top of all of these stars as well as this guy over here. So what we're going to have to do is actually kind of just estimate where those are. So I'm going to look on, on my coordinate grid and it may be hard to see. It may be better if you change this over to maps. Yeah, that might be a little bit better to see. Let, let me re-screenshot and insert this. That way we don't have all the dark trees and all of that good stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna take this image out and add that new one in. Awesome, now it's super tiny, so let's make it big again. Awesome, that is so much easier to see. Okay, hey, look at that. New tech looks like it's on the coordinate point 60, negative 30. So I'm gonna type that co coordinate point over here. And I wanna give it a label because we said we want them to be nice and labeled. So I'm gonna call this RNPHS. 
Okay. And it looks like Rogers High School is about approximately uh, like 55 comma 10. Okay, we have to accept that these aren't going to be perfect. So this is Heritage High School. Okay, and you can just edit those to make sure they're they're within your liking. Looks like the public library is about at 24. Let's do that. 24, comma, maybe 18. Oh yeah. Awesome. I'm gonna label that library. Okay, labeling these now means you won't have to do it later. So let's just go ahead and take the time to do that. Um, looks like Rogers High School is about 17, and then it's right down there at negative 35. Oh, I think it needs to go to the right some. Whoa, what happened? Yeah, nope, that's too far. If you want to be picky, you can use your decimals. That looks pretty good to me. This is righteous. Okay, and then my location is right over here. Can we see that? Okay, and where it looks to be located is at negative 67. And then down about negative 11. Yeah, pretty close. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer. Maybe 0.5. Ooh, super close. Okay, so new new high school awesome okay i'm going to jump back to the entry doc real quick and just kind of review what we need to do with this information so notice here it says all of those resources must be within a 20 mile radius from my chosen location so i know i kind of went backwards and chose that location last but now that i have i want to double check and make sure that um those those resources or the school is within a 20 mile radius. And remember, radius means that location will be the center of this big circle, 20 miles all the way around this circle. So I'm just gonna check from my location to New Tech because that was the furthest location. So we can use Google Maps to do this. And the way that we can do it is by right clicking on the location that we wanna measure a distance from. So down here on the bottom, is a measure distance option. So once we do that, we just need to click on the second point. So I'm just gonna click here, and it actually gives me a straight line through town. Obviously that's not how we would get from one place to another, uh, but this does give us that radius. So looks like it's about 4.75 miles, which is way within the limit. Okay, um, let's look back at our Desmos. Now from here, there's lots that we can do. We can find the, the distances between these points using our distance formula. We can find area and perimeter of shapes, lots of things that we can do. So at this point, let's take a look back at the entry doc. Um, and from here, I'm just going to kind of stop the video so that I don't do everything all at once and overwhelm you. But um, yeah, you can move on from here and, and start actually doing some calculations and math and making sure everything meets requirements, et cetera. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna pause here and I'll make another video uh, if we have more questions about what to do next, but. Thanks for watching.